Hello and welcome back to another episode in my Nostalgic Minecraft series here in Minecraft version 1.8.3. So today we're going to start off with just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, namely, uh, to start off with, we're going to make an ender chest because we have one in our old residence, uh, but we have yet to make one over here. So in order to do that, I just need to make uh, some blaze powder from a blaze rod, then make an eye of ender, stick that in the middle, surround it with obsidian. Now where should I put this? Once I put it down, let's get a silk touch pickaxe, which I have somewhere, um, but not on me. Uh, once I put it down, I cannot pick it back up again. I'm thinking like here. Yep, that'll do. That will do. So now I can see all the other stuff that's in my uh, ender chest down the way. Right, uh, so next, moving on, um, I'm going to put the blaze powder away in the monster drops thing. Um, I've grabbed a lead out of here, because as you probably noticed at the end of the last episode, the horse um, has a tendency to wander off. So we're going to see if we can time up, which does mean that I will need to make some fences to time off to. So when we're down at the stables, there we are, he's making a break for it. Um, I'll work on that. So I suppose now is as good a time as any um, to apologise for my absence, not last week, but the week before. Um, I was otherwise engaged. Um, specifically, uh, I was taking part in the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral. Because um, I serve in the Royal Air Force, as some of you may know. Um, Let's lower this. And I was one of the personnel that was chosen um, to represent the Royal Air Force um, at the Duke's funeral, and I was very proud to take part. But that did mean that I was uh, very much otherwise engaged, and that was obviously my priority. Let's tie him up. The horse that is not the deceased Duke. That would be very unbecoming. So, yeah, that's that sorted. Let's have a so he, sh he shouldn't now wander off and I I could put like a, a gate or something there but and then the horse would jump over it but I just thought this is the, the more elegant solution shall I put torches on there as well yes, why not right, I think that looks cool so he is um, restrained let us carry on with what I uh, plan to do for the rest of the episode so I decided it, it was probably worth uh, skipping the whole making you watch me ride out here thing. But we're back at the, the giant monolith um, that we saw in one of the previous episodes. Um, two back, I believe. And I've decided that I do need some of this, some of the new materials. And as there aren't really any, uh, well, there aren't any at all um, in the areas closer to home, um, then it is in my interest to come out here and collect a reasonable amount of them uh, so that we can start using them in some new construction projects and whatnot, especially in their polished form. Um, quiet and down you. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time out here uh, collecting some resources, um, the granite, the andesite and the diorite. Might as well collect everything I can get my hands on right while I'm here. Might as well grab, grab some more sand as well. I won't make you watch it, but here we go. You have to excuse me, I was interrupted by dinner, but just before that, uh, my horse, um, currently unnamed, uh, willing to take suggestions on that in the comments, um, decided it wanted to get intimately familiar with a cactus. And as I don't have a fence post out here to time to, I've put him in a hole in the ground. <clears throat> Excuse me. But now, back to the uh, the mining that I was just about starting before I was so rudely interrupted with food.
Now if we look down here, it appears I found a cave. Probably worth exploring that. <laughs> if I've got enough inventory space. Oh yeah, there's definitely some iron, so I'd say it's worth it. Hmm. I see some monsters through here. Let's see if we can get through without dying, eh? Let's gather up some iron as we go. We can always do with iron. Cool. Right. Here be monsters. Not today, old friend. Not today. No, I can't illuminate the tunnel with a potato on the wall. That doesn't work. Okay, it appears we're going deeper. Let's gather up all the resources we can. Or at least enough to make it worthwhile. Never know, you might find something interesting. I do need to make some more torches. It's handy that we've been picking up all this coal, eh? I suppose this one might be a dead end. Yep. Oh well, let's collect up the coal from the bottom so that our visit down here wasn't in vain. Now I suppose in the real world, to to apply a little bit of critical thinking to Minecraft, it would be suicidal to have open flame torches in a coal mine, because um, I know mining coal it generates a lot of dust. That's why coal miners always come out dirty, at least in like pictures that you see of like traditional coal mining. The reason they're dirty is all the dust, and once the dust is hanging in the air, it's incredibly flammable. Uh, even verging on explosive, I believe. Let's go up here and have a look. In fact, I'm pretty sure I already have. Yeah. Oh, not been up here. Let's have a quick look. See if there's anything worth writing home about. But yeah, we think nothing of in Minecraft <laughs> dotting our our caves full of uh, burning, flaming torches. Whereas in real life, I'm sure they would they would kill you. <laughs> hmm. See, can I remember the way out? Yes. Okay, so we want to go down here and take a peek. Uh, I can see some monsters. I don't really know if I want to explore this cave. Oh well. That'll make it worth it, right? I mean, there, there's some andesite down here. Oh, hello. But this isn't really the place I want to mine in, that andesite. But there's some iron, which makes it worth it. We'll grab the iron. I don't think I'm going to explore this cave in its full extent. I mean, we got 26 iron from this cave, so you have to pardon the, uh, I think that's origin. The origin sounds in the background. I was playing some Battlefield 3 earlier today. Very unlike me, but, you know, um, 
Got to keep yourself entertained. Well, I think that's about as far as I want to go in this cave, at least for now. See if I can work out how to get out. Yes, it was up here. But it's night time. Almost guarantee it's night time. Let's head back up here. Yep. It appears to be dark on the yeah it is dark on the surface but oh, I've not actually fought the way to get out. I guess I'll just keep mining this then. Kind of skip past this. Uh, we may have a a spider ending up dropping on our head um, because they can obviously see through walls and they might come forth and eliminate me. But I'll do my best, do my utmost to prevent that from happening. <laughs> But I think this episode's gone on long enough. You don't need to watch me mine every single block. Um, and down so even in the fast-forwarded sections, I will have cut some of it out. Um, but I'm going to end today's episode here. Um, so, if you liked the video, please do give it a like. If you didn't, you can always hit the dislike button. Um, but please do leave a comment and tell me why you didn't like it, just so that I have some points to note and uh, ways to improve. If you have any suggestions for things you'd like to see me do, please do comment down below also and if you'd like to be notified when I upload more videos in this series or anything else that I make please do subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon so that YouTube tells you when I upload so lastly from me thank you very much for watching and goodbye